Welcome to Blood Bath & Beyond. Today I'm going to break down the brand new Severin Films release of Umberto Lenzi's Eaten Alive. If you're unfamiliar with the film, Eaten Alive is Umberto Lenzi's second cannibal film. His first being Man from Deep River and the following one, obviously, Cannibal Ferox, which he's probably most known for. This movie stars Robert Kerman, Janet Agron, Ivan Razumov, Mimi Lai, and Mel Ferrer. And is loosely about the Jonestown Massacre, kind of. It seems definitely influenced by it, in which a man starts a cult and he starts recruiting all these people just so he can convince them all to have a mass suicide together. An American woman finds out that her sister is involved in the cult, so she flies overseas to find out what the tribe is all about and insert herself into the cult in a way to get her sister and escape. Similar to other cannibal films, especially of the time, we have seemingly real tribes people as actors, lots of nudity, over-the-top gore, realistic cannibalism, animal cruelty, uh, lots of rape, and everything else that's become standard fare in cannibal movies. To be completely honest, I had never seen Eaten Alive, and it's kind of strange because I did enjoy Cannibal Ferox and I like Nightmare City and I like Lindsay's stuff. I don't really know why I never watched this one, but it was pretty cool. It's not great by any means. It's kind of comical like watching it now because there's so many scenes that are just like over the top, but especially when it came to the animal stuff, I was cringing, I was looking away. There's a lot of snakes and I'm like terrified of snakes. And so there are definitely moments that were tense for me, but I'm not 100% that I really enjoyed it. I think it's worth watching if you haven't seen it. Um, to talk about the Blu-ray specifically, the transfer was decent enough. I don't know what they had to work with, but there were like imperfections obviously in the film. But I'm going to assume that this is going to be the best version that you'll ever see, only because there hasn't been like a high definition version of this movie before. The best parts about this Blu-ray though are definitely the special features. There's one with Umberto Lenzi kind of talking about how he became known for these cannibal movies and how like Man from Deep River was the first cannibal movie and obviously people think that it was Cannibal Holocaust and so he seems a little bitter talking about that. I think it's about 15 to 20 minute interview with Umberto Lenzi talking about cannibal films in general and how this movie came to be. There's also an interview with the production designer. There's archive interviews with both Ivan Razumov and Robert Kerman. They're, they're okay. Robert Kerman's pretty cool. Uh, the Ivan one, not so much. The Ivan one is not really an interview because he barely answered, he barely talks about the movie, to be honest. And there's also a 20 minute Q&A from Lindsay's appearance at the UK's Festival of Fantastic Films. But I think one of the coolest features and something that I think could be released by itself is a feature length documentary on Mimi Lai, who is the woman who kind of is in all of these different cannibal movies. And you may not know her name, but you would recognize her. But the documentary is so well put together, and it's just really cool hearing about um, someone who just happened to be in a bunch of these movies, and after so many years of avoiding everything to do with these movies, she's interviewed, and she shares a lot of really interesting stories. And it's an hour and a half, and there's lots of different like filmmakers, including Eli Roth, obviously from Green Inferno. He is a huge fan of cannibal movies, so he talks for a while, and Mimi Lai herself has two separate interviews that they've kind of cut together, and it just kind of talks about her life. Admittedly, I did not really know who Mimi Lai was. Well, I have seen a ton of movies with her in it. Like, I've never known her name. But it's really cool to hear her recount all these memories from back in the day of her doing Italian movies and then just stopping acting and being found through her daughter's Facebook to kind of come back into the spotlight, you know, go to a couple conventions, do some signings, and have some interviews about her time on movies with Lindsay and Diodoto. Uh, it's really cool. Like I said, it's an hour and 20 minutes. So it's actually really cool and insightful. So if you're interested in the cannibal subgenre, I highly recommend picking this one up. Even if you're not a huge fan of the movie itself, it's worth having just for that documentary. Um, but the movie is still enjoyable and I would recommend it. I don't think I'd probably watch it again. It's one of those movies that I think you would enjoy with a couple of friends as well because uh, there are just some over the top ridiculous moments that you guys just can crack jokes at. So if you're a fan of cannibal movies and you're interested in picking this one up, there are links in the description. I also have a breakdown of the special features. And yeah, just let me know if you guys have seen this and 
what other cannibal movies you would recommend. Anyway, thanks for watching. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe to the channel and stay updated with everything Bloodbath and beyond.